here we are. We're calling Fess. Give Fess a call. Stalder. Stalder. We're going to say it right. <laughs> well, I'll say it right at least. You are. Hello. Hello, is this Fess? Yeah, this is Fess. Fess, how are you? This is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. I got my good buddy Tommy in the studio. Say hi, Tommy. That's your cue. Oh, hey, how's it going? Thanks. How's it going, Fess? How you doing? See, he has to remind me because, well, I tend to not listen to him for obvious reasons. So, And in Tommy's defense, we have a new soundboard. We got the Roadcaster Pro specifically made for podcasting, and it yeah, has a lot it. of buttons. <laughs> They're and so pr- there's like a lot of too. lights in front of we're gonna upload the video <laughs> later but tommy's right next to the sound um like the sounds of the soundboard yeah so, if, so you, if you hear random like that's tommy that's having fun with the the soundboard <laughs> and so we're upgrading yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude it's blinky lights man I'm, I'm the five-year-old in me is like yeah let's so. yeah <laughs> All anyway, right. So, welcome to it. welcome to the show. Thanks for sending in the photo. the idea The idea behind the radio show and podcast is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And uh, photos and fish stories do just that. Mm-hmm. You sent in a giant what slab. Is it? Oh, you, I, s- you said it right this time. During your intro, I <laughs> called it instead of saying slab. I said. Slabosaurus. You said it's a Slabosaurus. I was like, I meant to say Slabosaurus, <laughs> but I, I often mess things up. And I was a little bit hesitant to say your name, too, because I was, I, I did I get it correct? Did I, I it's let's, Festalder. Festalder. Yeah, you did get it correct. See, That's right. Yeah. He, Perfect. He, he, he was having problems with Stalder. I'm like, it's how it's spelled. It, well, you know, I I sometimes mess people's names up, and then like this is their podcast, you know. Please it uploads. excuse my friend; he's a little slow. That that's true. I am, but <laughs> you know, if, when people come on the show, it's like we're gonna upload this later. People are listening in, and yeah. it's like it's special. And like, I don't want to mess up Tom's name, you know, because his name is Tom, and like, it's it, hard I don't, to mess that one up. But you'd probably find a way. I well, actually, I don't care if I mess up Tom's. I name. know you don't. Yeah. <laughs> You don't care about me. So the format of the show True. is just to um, tell us where you caught the fish if you want to. You don't have to because, you know, giving away your secret spot, people are going to go try to fish it you so you can, can make it up. You can say the general vicinity. You can make it up. You can say, yeah, nowhere near it, whatever, you know, but yeah. That and the bait that you were using and the size of it, if you were able <clears throat> to measure it in any way. And then we're going to upload this later. Um to uh, iTunes, uh, iTunes iHeartRadio, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and, all uh, YouTube, and um, <clears throat> and you'll all... become internet famous, really. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. It. See, there you go. You're you're being listened to around the world right now, technically. So, I mean, you're you're you're, you're already a big thing. KVD right, has awesome. nothing on you. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. <laughs> That's all I oh say. man! Um, <laughs> all right, Fess. This is your story. Tell us a little bit about that that fish catch. We want to hear uh, that story. All right. Well, two summers ago, I was with my brother. We went fishing where we usually fish out in Windsor. Um, sat off Poudre Valley Trail, and uh, we go out there and fish for a crappie lot. I was running some four pound cigar fluorocarbon. I found that catch fish better you know it's more invisible to the fish with uh northland tackle just crappie jig and uh i threw into the tree line and he smashed it and uh, took me a couple minutes to land him at first i thought it was a largemouth bass then when i got it closer to the shore i pulled it up realized it was a crappie start yelling at my brother man dude i got the new state record he's like no you don't then we uh Took it in and got it weighed at the state office, got it certified, and uh, yeah, it ended up being the new state record. Beat the old one by a pound. Oh, wow, it you got the new state record. Pound. Yeah, new state record in Colorado. Wow. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, Congratulations, nice. yeah, uh, that's... I appreciate that, uh... With three pounds, ten ounces, almost eighteen inches long. Jeez, 
That is that is a huge huge crappie that um, we're staring at. And if you guys, um, you know, if you guys are uh, <clears throat> listening in or, or or you know can you can hear the the, the podcast, um, we are talking to Fres- uh, Fess Stalder, who is uh, talking to us about his photo that he has on the um, I'm an Outsider uh, Facebook page, mm-hmm. and he's got a huge huge crappie that he's uh, holding up, and I mean that thing is just massive. So Colorado state record. That's it, man. That's it. I mean, he's he's the, like I said, KVD has has nothing on you, dude. Like I mean, you're just. You're a record holder now. You're an internet sensation. I mean, what what else? What what more do you need? Well, you got to come on the uh, radio show and podcast for Outsider to to Tackle two, Box. You got to talk to two morons early on a Saturday morning. <laughs> that fish just that, keeps on giving. Yeah, it just keeps on giving. It's like like the yeah, it's like it's like the jelly of the month club. It just keeps giving all year round. A lot of people were waiting to hear what uh, what bait you were using, where you caught the fish, and um, you know the setup. And so th- we appreciate you sharing that with everybody. Yeah. Uh, and so they could try and go catch a, a slab that size. Look at I said slab right. You said slab that right. Yeah. yeah. You didn't say slob. You go catch a slob that size. But I didn't say that's a crappy day, which I usually <laughs> I just you know I, I go straight to crappy. That is a crappy day. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> you're a moron. I know, but See, I I'm told, fun. I, I told so you say. <laughs> Are you guys big fishermen? Oh yeah, man. Uh, we go we go all over. We're actually going up north to Oregon this next week, and we're gonna go uh, fish the Columbia River with our our buddies up there uh, with the Columbia River hookers. And uh, he's uh, Ryan McMaster's uh, a good friend of ours is gonna put us on uh, some fish out there. We're gonna have a big old fishing party, and then uh, after that, we're gonna have a drinking party. Yeah, Tommy, I've been fishing since oh, uh, well, been started from like most people. Um... You know, when you're a kid, somebody yep. took us out. Like for me, it was my dad. For Tommy, it was like his friend's dad. And, yep. you know, we just caught the bug. And, it. uh, it. you know, we just. And and from then on, Paul still hasn't caught a fish. But, you know, there's still hope. And then uh, Tommy and I had <laughs> our kids go to school together. And we were just at like one of the school functions and just started talking to Tommy. And somehow fishing came up in the conversation. And then it's like, you fish, I fish. Well, and you, then, you saw my shirt is what did it. Yeah, had uh, Tommy it. had a Just Jerk It shirt on <laughs> went to a, an elementary school. He's, it says Just Jerk It. It was a, it looked, it, was a, it was a funny, it looked like a worm, but it also looked like, you know, it looked like it looked like, 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 a, like a head with a tail and <laughs> it said Just Jerk It. And so there's two messages there and I thought it was hilarious because I'm like, this guy wore Just Jerk It to an elementary school. This is funny. <laughs> And so I was like, I, so uh, we started talking and then, um, you know, now we have a fishing podcast. Turns out when you like fishing just a little bit more than everybody loves to fish. Like don't, anybody will go fishing with you. Like you want to go fish? Yeah. People, people will go out with you. But there's some people like like you and me, Fess and, and Tommy, like we fish a little bit more. You know, like we're on a fishing show. Yeah. Like that's just yeah. a little bit more than most people. But you find people who love it. And and um, it's all about the joys of fishing and, and yep. sharing your experiences uh, with others. And yep. uh, there's a ton of people out there who just who just enjoy the sport like like we do. So yep. thanks very much for for, coming for on the show, sharing man. it yeah. because people want to hear yeah, about uh, for, the joys of fishing. Thanks for having me on your show. Absolutely, if you want to see more big fish, check out my Instagram at Fish Talker Outdoors. There you I go. A lot of big fish on. There. Oh, thanks for doing that. Yeah, okay. Fish Talkers Outdoors is where you find a fest dollar. We'll put that up with your with your uh, fish story podcast. Uh, and then uh, if there's anything else you want to mention, uh, just let us know offline. Please send us your your information too. Just where to mail it, uh, and then we'll okay. We'll we send everybody um free stuff for coming on the show yeah so we'll, we'll be sending you out a little uh you know a little care package a little gift bag and uh we'll uh all right we'll get that out to you and uh you know this but, way you can yeah, show off come back anytime just um 
send in a photo and then you know you're welcome to to share your instagram your youtube whatever you have yes yeah. for coming on the show we allow people to post absolutely and people and whatever can, they're doing you can also post a written blog if you want to you can you, you can just write something you don't even have to be a writer to write the blog you can just be like i caught a fish today it was probably bigger than yours and that's it and it'll it'll be on the blog it'll be people actually um, do do that they're I like know. nothing like this last fish story on the blog was not much of the story i just caught a fish on the first cast they, they so i'll I, you know i i'll put the story together based on the things that you put down yeah uh, and i'll kind of like and then and then make we, it, up it goes out on to because uh, you could actually describe so today i went fishing like you have to actually walk somewhere or get there so i could describe the getting there in a sentence and then you just it doesn't the, really matter. it's the blog you're like i drove six miles to a lake that nobody else goes to. Nobody cares. I I, uh, I walked <laughs> up a hill in the snow both ways. <laughs> like that's what I do. Both ways. Both ways <laughs> in the like, snow. My grandparents. That, that's it. That's it. So yeah, no, you can definitely you can write a blog, you can post pictures, you can do whatever. Um, we'll have you. We'd love to have you back on the show. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll send From you all of us here and... at Outsider Tackle Box Radio Show and Podcast. Tight lines. Tight lines. Have a great Saturday. Fish more. Fish more, buddy. All right, I will. Thank you, guys. All right, Appreciate take it. care, bud. Bye. You too. Bye.